Auto Nation. Every new car and truck is priced to go. Go save right now on a brand new 2019 Ram 1500 with over 11500 off. Or don't miss your chance to go drive a new Jeep Grand Cherokee 6500 off. Let's go! What are you waiting for? Let's go! Go to Auto Nation now. Part of America's largest and most recognized auto retailer. Right now on Today in AZ, the number of people with coronavirus in Arizona is continuing to rise as the state confirms now a second person has died. What the health department is doing now. Plus, it's going to be a while before your kids go back to school, but that doesn't mean they're on vacation. What Valley schools are doing to keep our kids educated and what should the International Olympic Committee do about the 2020 games in Tokyo? Should they be canceled, postponed? Or should they continue on as planned? Vote right now at 12news.com slash bullhorn. Good morning. Thanks for waking up with us at 6 a.m. I'm Ryan Cody. And I'm Rachel McNeil. Good morning to you. On this Monday morning, we at 12 News continue to practice our social distancing. And for me, that means that I'm separated from Ryan even further, now broadcasting out of my sitting room on this Monday morning. The real question this morning, Rachel, at 6 a.m. is, is anyone there making breakfast? No. I'm, in, I'm discouraging any movement, so I've not heard anything yet. It's still early, even for my people. Yeah. No, that's true. Yeah. You don't want to be too intrusive yeah. for the rest of the family. Uh, we appreciate too late you. for that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good call. Uh, you're closer to the bathroom, though, so I'm jealous of that. Yeah. Uh, and your shot looks great. So, you know, Savannah, you, Savannah Brett, Guthrie's basement has nothing time, on you right now from what I can see. <laughs> Beautiful backdrop. D definitely more comfortable than the uh, newsroom chairs, I can tell you that much. Yeah, jealous of that too. Okay, uh, you'll also notice that Vanessa, she's not here either, but she's perfectly yeah. healthy, just working from home for the next few days as we practice some good <laughs> social distancing, trying to keep as little amount of people here in the studio as possible and in our newsroom as possible. So you'll also notice that Crystal Henderson, she's here, but normally she'd be much closer Hello. over by this wall that you see on the right. That's where she would be normally, but instead we stuck her way on the other side. I Cri spy with my little eye. Crystal. There's Crystal. Hey, Ryan. Can you hear me <laughs> over there? Well, only because I have IFB in my ear. That's uh, the only way I can hear you. Otherwise, I might as well be in Chandler, Ryan. <laughs> I'm so far south. All right, guys. Wind is the name of our weather game today. That's the X factor that we're going to throw in place. And St. John's, Holbrook, Winslow, all caught in the crosshairs of some stronger winds that are going to put you in a wind advisory zone. Those southwest winds whipping up to 25 miles an hour for sustained winds, but you could see them flare up to 50 miles an hour at times later on today. For the valley, it's also going to be breezy. The southwest winds cranking up to 15 miles an hour in the p.m. hours with gusts up to 25, Ryan. All right, Crystal, thanks. We'll pay attention to that. And we know there is a lot of information floating around about the coronavirus outbreak this morning. So we're going to break down three things that you need to know right now. First, the most recent rescue package to help Americans during the COVID-19 pandemic is being held up in the Senate. Democrats blocked the package from moving forward after voicing concerns over the possibility of corporate bailouts. If it's passed, the deal could include $1,200 checks for Americans in the mail. And all the stimulus could cost more than $1.3 trillion. Second, Kentucky Senator Rand Paul has tested positive for the coronavirus, becoming the first senator known to contract the disease. We're told he's feeling fine and is in quarantine this morning. And third, new numbers from the CDC show there are more than 35,000 confirmed cases of the coronavirus here in the United States. At least 400 people have died, and about 15,000 of those confirmed cases are in New York alone. In Arizona, there's at least 152 confirmed cases and two deaths. Right now, we know at least a quarter million people have been tested, but that number does not include testing at local hospitals or healthcare labs. Testing has been an issue all across the United States during this disease. And the testing aspect, that's something that the family of the first person in Arizona to, to die from the coronavirus is struggling to wrap their heads around here, as Team 12's Jen Wall found out. Good morning, Jen. Yeah, good morning.